at the beginning of the conversation, fundamentally, how can we as a nation allow foreign countries' agencies to come in and do things that American companies are capable of? Oh, boy. All right. Well, we got through that subject. I covered it extensively in the first hour. I just I'm just sick of it. I just want to live in peace. I don't want to have 60 percent tax rates. I, I, I don't want these illegal wars. I don't want to go through naked body scanners. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. And I'm not a terrorist. But I think that, you know, these groups and the federal government and uh, have bit off more than they can chew now that patriots know about the Mayak report and know that these groups are targeting the tea parties and everybody else. I mean, like you said, Bob, it's almost like these groups make enemies. You weren't even criticizing these groups and they were coming after you. That's right. And they, I don't think they've ever had anybody say the things to them that I did. And I'm glad I said them. Actually, <clears throat> the first conversation, my wife told him that. <laughs> yeah, she just said, look, you want to come on? You want to die? Come on over. We can arrange anything here. <laughs> well, I, uh, and I lived in Malibu for 20 years, and at that time I was living there, and uh, we had everything scoped out. Well, I don't know who's calling us death threatening us. I just know they're already listening to our phones. They like to let us know what our dog's doing in the backyard. They like to let my wife know what we were just talking about. So there's whoever it is taps my phones, then a few times a year just calls up and says, I'll cut your head off. I'll. I'll rape you. I'll, you know, your little dog was just out back drinking water. I'd like to kill it. Uh, really nice people. Well, that's psychological warfare. And uh, because of the sacrifices that you've made for the American people, you're going to have to put up with it and be strong and don't let it get to you and keep on doing the fantastic work that you're doing. And we are kicking them all over the place. We're, we're killing them. Incidentally, I was on uh, on Wednesday again in, in Athens, and uh, I gave him an earful again. And I don't know if you saw the uh, uh, the article in uh, Vanity Fair by uh, Mike Lewis, uh, who's an author. Uh, anyway, he mentioned the uh, the fact that he went up to see these monks who were very uh, active in politics in Greece. And he said, well, how do you know so much about all this stuff? And they said, well, Bob Chapman at the International Forecaster is our advisor. <laughs> no, I did see that with the, uh, with the Orthodox uh, Church plugging you. So you're certainly having an effect, Bob. Well, I love it, and, uh, and uh, I'm safely tucked away. They, they have a heck of, heck of a time trying to find me. And, uh, and we're going to keep on doing it, and uh, we're going to win. And so all of you people out there, we are going to win. You just got to help us. You got to do your part. Listen to what Alex says because he's closer to the, the heartbeat of what's going on than I am. And go forward. Get those DVDs out and let the whole world know who's taking advantage of them. Bob, let's get into the economy. I was looking around for my stack. I covered it in the first hour. Then I got into geoengineering and sterilization vaccines and everything else. But I have this huge stack uh, where, oh, here it is. I found the stack. Gold rises to record on increased demand for wealth protection. Well, we've always said you can't trust these derivatives. You can't trust all this paper money. Uh, silver hits all-time high along with gold. I got to go back. Two months ago, when it was at its you know new low in the last year, you said, I look for September. I look for it to run up. And then Bloomberg reported, what, two weeks ago that the majority of future options on gold in New York and Chicago uh, are at 1500 by the middle of December. Uh, so you've been absolutely right again, Bob. So tell us what's coming up with gold. Well, first of all, thank you. Uh, gold is up 262. It's still trading in the October month. And silver's up three pennies today, which is good considering the gains that it's made uh, recently. Um, one of my deep, deep uh, people who uh, get me information told me today that the lawsuit, uh, the class action lawsuit uh, against, uh, against uh, J.P. Morgan Chase and the silver scam is continuing to go forward. 
they they haven't announced it yet. Uh, when they will, I don't know. But uh, I got that from the horse's mouth. So it hasn't gone away uh, unless they change their mind. And they've got input from people who were involved. And so, you know, as far as evidence is concerned, <clears throat> they've got plenty of it. Uh, one of the things that happened today, yesterday, I guess it was yesterday, um, they had the auctions, and the foreigners bought a little bit more treasuries than they had before. But something that people have overlooked is that, and this is a big development, and that is central banks sold $57 billion worth of U.S. agency debt. Bob, stay there. We got a break. Sorry to interrupt. We're going to come right back with that on the other side and get more into the economy. Stay with us. Off-the-grid remedies can still be grown in your own backyard. Tap into powerful off-the-grid health care using all-natural, time-tested herbal medications that you grow yourself with the new Survival Herb Bank. Take the first preventative step against the coming socialized medical shortages with SurvivalHerbBank.com. Traditional herbal remedies have been used effectively for centuries, but the big pharmaceutical and big government cartel can't patent their natural healing powers. That's why they are trying to ban them. The Survival Herb Bank contains 20 powerful herbs, all with proven track records as off-the-grid remedies. And here's the best part. When you grow your own herbal medicines, potencies go through the roof. Learn more at survivalherbbank.com. Plus, get the ebook, How to Grow Your Own Herbs for Survival Remedies, a $39 value free with every Survival Herb Bank order. Now at less than half price while supplies last at survivalherbbank.com. Or call 877-327-0365. That's 877-327-0365. Survivalherbbank.com. Making the right decisions is a challenge to investors. Are we going to see economic growth, slide into a recession, or at worst, depression? Hi, Ted Anderson from Midas Resources. We all know when a company acts irresponsibly, divesting ourselves in a move towards safety is prudent. When the market becomes volatile, U.S. Treasuries are a safe haven. But what do you do when the U.S. government overextends itself and spends beyond its means? Many investors are turning toward gold as a common-sense alternative to traditional paper investments. Midas Resources has put together a powerful book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold, discussing costs, benefits, risks, featuring full-color illustrations, weights, and measures. The book is free and can be yours by calling 800-686-2237. Paper investments are dwarfed by gold's 6,000-year history. Discover how gold may be right for you and your IRA by calling 800-686-2237. Whether buying or it's time for you to sell, the book is free. Call 800-686-2237. The question is, where should the American people draw their line in the sand? What have we got? A republic or a monarchy? A republic is based on a constitution which protects minority rights. It's not democracy, not mob rule, two wolves and a sheep voting on what's for dinner. So they think they own our land, they think they own our water, children, our education, our money. We have to define who we are and what we will tolerate. Somebody's going to ask you what you did during the Patriot Uprising. You have been warned. We have the facts. We have the Constitution. We have the Bill of Rights. We have common law. Knowledge is power, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm so excited to be able to offer you, don't tread on me, rise of the Republic. Tyranny is upon us, but liberty and the sleeping giant that is the American people is rising. A new tool in the info war. Don't tread on me. Order it at infowars.com or prisonplanet.com or call toll free 888-253-313. And support independent patriotic liberty films. Hounded by debt collectors with phone calls and letters? Thinking of calling a debt relief company? Don't. Greedy lawyers and debt companies charge thousands. Why pay when you can get their solution absolutely free with New York Times best selling author Herb K's number one debt secret? The how to on stopping the calls without paying the debt companies. Yes. Free for a very limited time. Here's Herb K. Don't get ripped off by credit repair companies when I can give you the information you need to do it yourself for free. Herb K was right. His free information helped me stop the calls and settle my debt. What do you have to lose? Stop the calls now. Get out of debt and have more money. Get Herb K's number one debt secret absolutely free now. Call 800-405-7850. That's 800-405-7850. 405 
It's Friday, September 17th, 2010. Bob Chapman with his once a week Friday visit is our guest. We'll be talking more about the economy. Uh, we're going to open the phones up specifically for first time callers with questions, economic questions for Bob Chapman. 1 800 259 9231. 1 800 259 9231. We'll get you up and on the air. Uh, here's some of the uh, headlines I've got. This is out of the French news agency. Wall Street Casino spooks small American investors, and people just don't tr trust it anymore. They know it's a rigged game. Uh, here's another one. Lost decade for family income. NAFTA and GATT destroyed the economy. Record number of Americans living in poverty, 43.6 million. And that's with cooked government numbers. There's a lot of working poor. U.S. workers' poverty reaches 50-year high, but I looked at those numbers, it's even higher. Uh, gold and silver hit new highs for second time in one week. Gold rises to record on increased demand for wealth protection. Bob, you were finishing up a point as we went to break. Right. And, yes, we did have some purchases of Treasury securities in the last auction. But the significant thing is that we had $57 billion worth of U.S. agency debt. That's Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac, Ginny Mae, and FHA that was sold. And that means to me that foreign central banks are getting serious about diversifying their reserves away from the new U.S. dollar. Bob, that's $57 billion. That's, I mean, that's Dr. Evil level stuff. We've had tens of trillions stolen by the central banks. China has devalued U.S. investments, saying they're not AAA. So you're saying you're really starting to see the exodus out of, of our of our, uh, our entire economic system. Yeah, that's correct. And it, it began about uh, 17 months ago when 64.5% of foreign reserves of foreign countries were in dollars. Now that figure is 59.5%. But this is just more proof that it's ongoing. Bob, what specifically, what do you expect gold to do? Because you've been predicting this steadily. What's the main reason? I mean, I guess AP and Bloomberg get it right. People are fleeing to gold and silver as a safe haven against uh, fiat currencies and derivatives instruments? Uh, yes, and it has been going on for the last 10 years in a small way. Uh, now there's more people coming into the market to do that. Uh, they've been fleeing to treasuries as well as commodities and gold and silver. Uh, I think tomorrow will be a decent day, maybe even to plus five dollars, uh, and the same on Monday and Tuesday. Wednesday and Thursday should be weaker uh, because, uh, well, at least Thursday and Friday next week, because on Monday the following week we have option option exploration on gold and silver contracts. And so they try to push the price down every time that comes around. How much and do you think it will go down? How much do you think it will go down next week? Oh, maybe five or ten, fifteen dollars at worst. And then what? In a week or two, race back up to uh, pass the last high. It's going to go right through thirteen hundred, like it wasn't there. Oh, you're and you're silver's going to break out uh, over twenty one and run to twenty three four five. So you're predicting when will it go to twenty three four five in silver? When will it break thirteen hundred on gold? Over the next three weeks. Well, you heard it from Bob Chapman. Within three weeks, are you saying it's a certainty or like 90% chance? Or? Well, nothing is ever certain in this life anymore. But uh, unless something untoward happens, uh, we get a great chance of it going through 1,300 during that time frame. Um, this giant net short positions, and they're all naked on the COMEX. Um, we've seen reports that the leverage is anywhere between 40 and 100 to 1 on the LBMA in London in both silver and gold contracts. We also see uh, gold and silver going up and not a lot of movement to the upside by the ETFs, GLD and SLV. And we see giant short positions in the gold producing uh, gold and silver shares, and even some of the smaller companies. And if if, it run, if gold runs away and silver runs away to the upside, I can promise you there'll be blood on the moon because they're going to have to cover, and that'll catapult the price higher during the next couple of months. What about Bloomberg's report?